Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Barsh and I'm an undergraduate studying biological sciences at California Polytechnic State University, San Luis Obispo. And I have the pleasure of working at Lassen Volcanic National Park, helping to develop and execute a pilot study for a long-term project aiming to better understand small mammal communities associated with the American pika and potential threats they may be facing as a result of climate change and zoonotic disease. This project will inform efficient and effective management decisions that can be used to mitigate infectious disease in wildlife populations and spillover events to humans. Get ready for a lot of pika photos. It's important to note some of the justifications for the study. Climate change has been associated with uncovered instances of pika extirpation from historically occupied sites, which NPS's Pikas in Peril project has demonstrated through occupancy data, but hasn't shown the mechanism by which this occurs. Plague is known to vary with climate. In Asia, pika are central to plague circulation. Plague was confirmed as the cause of death in a pika carcass at the nearby Lava Beds National Monument. The pilot study was broken down into steps that could be accomplished in phases. So, phase one, find the pika. I returned to the talus slopes across the park day after day, taking careful notes on pika occupancy, time and temperature of increased activity, and associated small mammal and plant communities present. It turned out that zigzagging through the talus is time consuming, especially when you're just one person. So I narrowed my goals to understanding density and distribution in eight study sites that one, had confirmed pika occupancy, two, had confirmed occupancy of other mammals impacted by plague, three, had at least two adjacent pika occupying territories with similar vegetation, elevation, and slope, didn't interfere with pikas and peril survey sites, and were easily accessible because I would be returning a lot. Unfortunately, this meant that all the paired sites were located at roughly the same elevation, which doesn't give us information for the climate change facet for the study. However, with more time and more people, all of the following methods for this project can be applied to additional paired sites at locations with unique elevations where I already was able to confirm pika occupancy. I mapped predictions for each pika territory and moved on to phase two, remote monitoring of pika at hay piles and latrines. This step was helpful for two reasons. We were able to confirm when and where pika consistently returned, and once we mark individuals, we'll be able to use the cameras as a way to monitor them throughout their lifetime and determine survivorship. Next, phase three is treatment. This part of the project is especially interesting because it presents a management tool that if our data demonstrates as being effective, can be used to mitigate plague impact on small mammal communities across Lassen and at other parks. The test pairs were dusted with deltamethrin dust and insecticide power with little toxicity to most mammals by encompassing bait at randomly generated points in the test territories. Similarly, the area around pika hay piles and latrines were dusted since they don't respond to traditional bait. A significant part of my time was spent working hard to develop a trapping protocol involving ear tagging, passive integrated transponder tagging, and anesthetizing animals to comb for fleas that satisfied the Institutional Animal Care and Use Committee requirements. Pika are notoriously difficult to trap and handle, so I reached out to pika expert Chris Ray and consulted plague expert Dean Biggins in hopes that in the next couple of weeks, I could start trapping and be just like them. The final phase of this project is to collect and analyze data. This means my supervisor and I get the opportunity to trap pika. While trapping, we'll be collecting data on flea load of all animals. Each individual will be ear tagged, but only the pika will get these fun colored ear tags. Given that this is a pilot study, data analysis will be limited to looking for a difference in flea prevalence between test sites that were dusted and control sites that were left alone. With evidence of animals coming in contact with dust from camera photos and with support from pre previous studies on the efficacy of deltamethrin dust, it is reasonable to expect that we can effectively treat this diverse community in the challenging talus environment. While the collection of data is still pending, this project succeeded at providing valuable information to scientists and managers overseeing me during this process. We are now fully equipped with the necessary materials and knowledge of how to incorporate small efforts to continue data collection during the short field season. Thanks to the support of my supervisors, we are now days away from being able to handle pika and collect data that will improve our understanding of plague circulation within an alpine ecosystem and help us to better conserve this uniquely vulnerable species. Thank you.